Back in the late 1930s, the old Transbay Terminal was built to house and deal and work with all the transportation issues that were growing through the Bay Area. Now that the old Transbay Terminal met its life, a new transit center was required and the TJPA, the Transbay Joint Power Authority, the owner and operator of the new transit center were able to create, fund, and eventually get the construction started with the new transit center. The old Transbay Terminal was a dark, utilitarian, functional building. As you can see behind me, the new transit center is very light, airy, open, a beautiful experience for the new customer that'll come through uh, the transit center here shortly this summer. And they'll come into a transit center of over a million square feet with modern seismic criterias and also uh, very user-friendly and 100,000 square feet of retail to make that experience wonderful for all to come through. So when this project was awarded in uh, 2009, it was the largest project that Webport undertaken. Nine years of construction, many challenges along the way, uh, many different trade contractor packages to manage, including some very uh, large packages for earthwork, excavation, structural steel, concrete, electrical. The project started in uh, 2010. Low grade is two levels of excavation for a future train box. 640,000 cubic yards of earth were excavated for that train box. As we worked our way up out of the ground, we started steel erection in September of 2014 and completed steel erection in early 2016. Since then, we've been building out all the finishes on the project and all the systems, and we're now looking to wrap things up uh, later this year. Many interesting elements of the project. Uh, site logistics are certainly a big challenge. We have two public streets running through the middle of the project that we have to remain open during the day. We have surrounded by other construction projects as well as many businesses that we have to keep in operation at all times. We have to coordinate with the adjacent construction projects with deliveries and lane closures and street closures and whatnot. We have a bus ramp down at the other end of the project that connects to the west end of the Bay Bridge. So the buses uh, from the East Bay can come directly off of the Bay Bridge into the project to stay off the city streets and then they'll loop around the bus deck, load and unload passengers, and exit the project. When the old Transbay Terminal was closed back in 2010, uh, the neighborhood around here, the South of Market area, had uh, very few jobs. It was an area that was uh, needing a renovation. Due to the, the new construction of the transit center, a whole new neighborhood has evolved called the East Cut, uh, which has created all these new jobs. There are dozens of new buildings in this area, but those jobs that were created on this project, we have a project labor agreement. That project labor agreement has created union harmony, and we have, for our 700 plus workers that have been on this job that are here today, plus the thousands that have been here, we've created over 22,000 jobs to date, and we'll be about 24,000 jobs created uh, through the life of this project. And it's due to our funding, it's a Buy America project, and those jobs have been created throughout the United States in 47 of 50 states, whether a fabrication or a material come from those states. So we're very proud of uh, the impacts throughout the country, but also the local impacts as well to the jobs due to this project. So we're standing on the roof park. This is a uh, five acre city park on the roof of the transit center. I'm actually standing on a glass floor. This is a two hour fire rated glass floor assembly. Uh, my understanding is it's the first one ever constructed. We did our own two-hour UL rated fire test uh, prior to installation. So you can see behind me here all the various uh, towers that are surrounding our transit center. The transit center is in an extremely dense urban setting and that's one of the biggest challenges to construction of this facility. So we've really had to be good neighbors on many levels to manage our noise at night, manage our traffic during the day, and still, because we are part of this community for a very long time, and we want to be good neighbors uh, at the end of the day. And, and I think we did that over the last eight years of construction.